Hey everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from jrsfullvetandpoly.com. I wanted to do a video today about cats and vacationing. Um, I know a lot of clients and a lot of people who go on vacation and leave their cats at home and then have someone come in and check on them. This is Sunday, it's Easter Sunday here and I'm at the clinic and I do not know if you can see, but here's Loon and there's Safi and then there's Serafina and then my two dogs are sleeping quietly in the back. Um, Thankfully, they're very quiet. Um, I'll see if you can see them over there. There you are. So, so I am here on Easter Sunday visiting my kitties. These, we have four clinic cats. Um, Oreo's upstairs asleep. So there's four clinic cats here. Not all of them get along so great. Safi's a bit of an instigator. So that's why Serafina is up there hiding. But someone comes in every day and takes care of our cats. So we are open seven days a week, except for holidays. So today is Easter and we're not open today. So I came in and then someone will come in later and feed them. The clinic cats are used to lots of people and they're used to all the staff. So we come in, we, we check on everybody. Everybody's in a cage overnight because I have motion sensors in the clinic. So they're in a cage overnight and they all go running to their cage at dinner time. So when we come up with all the food, they all go running and then we close them in and then we let them out when we come in in the morning. So typically we're open eight to eight. So it's a very long day. Um, we come in in the morning, we let go, we feed everybody breakfast and then we clean their cages and then we let them, we let them out. And, and that's our normal routine. And then we do the same thing and I put them in their cages. So everyone's got a very structured, very, um, you know, routine schedule going on here. And then everybody here is used to all of us. So they're very social. They're very social cats. Here's Loon, there's Safi, and then there's Serafina again. So very social, very used to people, and then they're on a very defined routine. Um, Safi gets medication, so so some of them are, are medicated and they all have a medicated list. And then for those people, that go on vacation. So really, this is a video about going on vacation and taking care of your cats. Um, it is, it, it, it's, it's very concerning to me that if your cats are not used to the people coming in and visiting them, or they're not social cats, that some, something's going to get missed. Lots of people just think that if you put food down, they'll eventually eat it, and then you just go in and clean the litter box, and that's it. But really, you need to make sure everybody's eating, everybody's going to the bathroom, and everybody's comfortable. And I see a lot of you know, a lot of medical emergencies and health emergencies because people are not adequately looking after their cats when they go away. And these cats are very emotional, sensitive beings and they're not being um, provided the attention that they need and given the support that they need while, while they're, you're away on vacation. So, so for those people who think that you can go on vacation and just leave your cats at home and have somebody else come in and feed them and give them water, um, lots of times they come back to a very sick cat and, and lots of times we don't know how long that cat's been sick. I would say probably for 24 to 48 hours, you're okay. So if you're just gonna be gone for overnight, your cats are probably gonna be okay with you without you being there for one night, maybe two nights, but after that, you need a better plan. Either somebody moves into your house and takes care of them, so somebody who is who knows the cats and who is comfortable being there and who loves cats comes in and then does a head count every day and makes sure that everybody's eating and drinking and um, th and that provides enough oversight or board your cats. Um, cats, most of the cats here do very well boarding. Sometimes it takes them a day or two to acclimate, but at least when they're here, so at least when they're here and in a cage, we know if they're eating or drinking and peeing and pooping and that is vital. It's vital to know that. Um, cats can get a condition called hepatic lipidosis and that usually happens. It's, it's more commonly happens when they've, people have left them alone and they haven't been eating regularly and then their liver starts to shut down and then they become icteric and then they need very aggressive treatment from there. So there are a lot of things that can happen just from your cats being stressed, alone, depressed, and not eating and not having their normal routine. They are very, very emotional beings. They're very intelligent. I think a lot of people just misunderstand that you go away and you break up their routine. And remember, they have a very, very defined routine. They're used to you being there at night. They're used to you being away during the day when you go to work and they really need that routine. And when you disrupt it, by leaving them alone or abandoning them, they really, some of them really don't do well. So please think about vacations and taking care of your cats appropriately. Um, they just need, they need more than I think a lot of people give them credit for. So, so really think about them as complicated emotional beings and make sure that you provide for them. Think of them as having a five-year-old. You know, if you wouldn't leave your five-year-old alone for any period of time, um, never mind longer than two days. So, so I really worry about these guys and, and, and boarding and vacation. It's just not appropriate and they need more.
more. So if it's longer than 24 to 48 hours, talk about boarding, find some place that is quiet and some place that you trust and go over your individual cat's needs or talk about, think about having someone stay at your house so that they can help take care of your cats. Um, it is just not appropriate, nor is it safe to leave them alone for longer than 48 hours, especially if those cats are not very social cats, meaning when you come in, they don't come up to you, they don't look for attention, and that you can't adequately monitor, monitor food intake and then urine and defecation outtake. If you have any questions about this, you can find me here at Jared's Full Vet or anytime at pobbly.com. Take care and be safe. Bye.